In this video, we'll take a look at a few Help Desk more specific options to deliver the best experience for your support. We'll cover customization of ticket numbering and statuses, configuring the Help Desk top menu, and automating repeating tasks. All the tickets have a ticket ID. It's used in email notifications for both your clients and your agents. Also, you can quickly locate the ticket with a Help Desk search by the ticket ID. However, you may have multiple Help Desk instances installed, one for IT, another for sales, etc. You may need more customized IDs to distinguish the tickets from different Help Desks. Also, you may wish for the ticket number to be more informative, for example, include the current date. Let's tweak the ticket numbering for our needs. Navigate to Settings and choose Ticket Numbering. You will see a formula with a single token for counting the ticket number. This token is mandatory as each ticket should include a counting number. However, you may add some optional tokens to it. Please navigate the link to the documentation to see the list of all tokens available. For example, this way, you may add the current date token. Also, we'll add a prefix to each number. For example, sales. Here's how the new ticket ID will look. Ticket statuses are widely used within the help desk. You can change the displayed status name to better suit your needs, for example, translate it to your language. All the available ticket statuses are stored in the ticket statuses list. Navigate to the site content page of the help desk site and open the list. Note that each ticket status item has two fields, name that is displayed in the interface, in views and forms. Feel free to change it as you wish. Internal name that is used in triggers, SLA policies, and other important processes. Please note that you can't change the internal name for the four default ticket statuses, new, pending, in progress, and solved. You can also add additional custom statuses of your own choice. Now let's change the Help Desk top navigation. Help Desk top menu is a set of links with different ticket views. You can customize them or add a new view. Also, you can insert a link to any page. We'll add a button to navigate to the page for all the agents solve tickets. To do this, first, we need to create a new view. You may leave all the settings by default except for a few filtering settings. First, filter all the tickets by the Assigned To field, set it to be equal to the Me token. Then filter by status, Solved. Now you will have a new view. Let's add it to the top navigation bar. Navigate to the Help Desk settings and then to the Appearance options. You will see a list of top menu items that are used for quick navigation. Add a new top menu item, provide a title for a new menu link, and select the ticket's list view. You will see the view we've just created in the list. If you choose a link instead of a view, please provide a URL to any page you'd like to quickly navigate to. You can easily rearrange the items in the top menu with drag and drop. The Help Desk Scheduler is a tool that allows you to automate periodic routine actions on your active tickets. For example, send reminders on overdue tickets once a day. Navigate to the Settings page and then to the Scheduler. There is one default scheduler task for overdue notifications. Let's create a new task. Add a task name and description. We'll create a task to notify the agent of all the tickets with the priority urgent first thing in the morning. On the Schedule tab, 
you can choose the time when a notification is performed. We'll need a daily schedule for that. Note that you can configure very complex timing expressions with an advanced syntax that follows the logic of cron syntax for Unix systems timing jobs. Please consult an article in your documentation for more details on that. Now navigate to the task tab. We'll need to specify the condition for the scheduler. It will run on all the tickets where the status is not solved and the ticket priority is equal to urgent. You can choose the action to send an email or to set a field to some value. Of course, you can apply several actions together. The actions are executed on each ticket that satisfies the condition above. We'll set up an action to send an email to the ticket assignee, a reminder of the urgent ticket that is still unsolved. When the scheduler runs, the agent will receive an email like this one with a notification. The logic of conditions and actions can be pretty complex. Please watch a separate video on Help Desk Trigger Settings or see our documentation for information on conditions and actions.